Handy Dart is the most environmentally friendly building that Transit's ever constructed, so it's very exciting. Uh, there's a number of different environmental considerations that have been built into the building. Uh, it's being built to lead gold, the step three of the BC Energy step code, as well as the zero carbon step code. Um, in terms of how it fits into the greater environmental strategy of BC Transit, um, when a lot of people think about environmental impacts, environmental benefits, and transit, they think exclusively about greenhouse gas emissions or carbon emissions. Um, and while that is a really large component of the work we do, both with a low carbon fleet strategy and with the very fact that by providing transit service in a community, you're lowering greenhouse gas emissions because you're getting people out of cars and into buses. Um, that's not the whole picture though. For BC Transit, our philosophy around environmental impacts extends beyond just carbon emissions. We also are looking at uh, climate resiliency. We're looking at um, uh, water conservation. We're looking at environmental remediation. Um, and Hattie Dart really reflects that. There are different standards built into this building go beyond carbon to these other impacts as well. LEAD stands for Leadership and Energy and Environmental Design. It does have components of energy efficiency and it has components of low carbon design, but similar to our philosophy at Transit, it goes beyond these. It uh, includes chemical use reduction, uh, it includes components of um, habitat restoration, like the stream here. Um, the plants being planted here are native species that don't require very much irrigation. I think the best way to think about this new uh, facility is how the facility uh, blends in and uses the environment around it. So we're trying to get as much natural light for the people that work there as possible. Uh, so a lot of windows, uh, a lot of availability uh, for them to see outside. Um, in addition to natural light, we want to make sure we have a really high efficient uh, electrical and mechanical system. So. All of our design, all of the, the uh, detailing that we've done is really focused on making sure whatever energy we put into the building, we keep into the building. BC Energy Step Code is focused specifically on energy efficiency in a building. Um, so that would be things like insulation, uh, or in the case of Handy Dart, uh, one of the more interesting components that we have built around that is a energy recovery system that moves heat from places in the building that is not really necessary to areas that we want it. Um, going on to the low carbon step code, this is looking exclusively at carbon emissions or greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, we're expected to that this building is going to reach uh, the highest level of the zero carbon step code, which is EL4. Uh, the reason for that is there are no fossil fuels at all used in the operation of the facility. Um, instead of having something like a conventional natural gas boiler, we're using heat pumps powered by BC Hydro's electricity, which is very green since it comes primarily from hydroelectric dams, which is a renewable source. I think if you look at this facility and know that it's a lead gold uh, targeted facility, step code three compliant, salmon safe, uh, we're looking at the Rick Hansen certification. All of that stuff that BC Transit is doing is to make sure that it has the least impact on the environment and runs as efficiently as possible. We're looking at this both as an opportunity to teach and an opportunity to learn. As you said, we're teaching by example, we're showcasing how public infrastructure can be part of the conversation going forward to build a low carbon, um, and sustainable future. We're also learning a lot from this design. Uh, we are very proud that this is the first Salmon Safe certified development on Vancouver Island, but we're already looking at applying this standard to other existing facilities throughout the province. Um, yep. Two years ago, there weren't any fish in this stream whatsoever. Now there are. That's super exciting. Uh, we, we don't need to make a negative environmental impact when we build something. We can make it a positive one, and with projects like this, I think, I think we should be showcasing how that's possible.